Kim Kardashian is snubbed by her stepbrother, and a very young heavy metal band gets a major record deal. Let's check in with Tony Zaza from CBS radio station 1037 KVIL for a look at what's buzzing. Hey, happy Monday, but let's uh, get to this news on Tracy Morgan. A yeah. good side of things is that he's out of the hospital, correct? Yeah, this is really exciting to hear. Tracy Morgan has left the rehab facility that he's been in for the last month. This happened over the weekend. He's going to continue his uh, recovery at home, and this is expected to still be a pretty aggressive outpatient program. Uh, his rep said that Tracy asked me to pass along his sincerest gratitude to everyone who has helped him get to this point. So very exciting news after that June 7th accident that saw him and everybody on board injured, including one of his closest friends killed mm -hmm. after a Walmart 18-wheeler slammed the back of their limo doing 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. So uh, exciting that he's going home. Now, something else I want to mention that uh, he has filed a lawsuit against Walmart claiming negligence to the driver and the company for their ownership and operation of that truck. So we'll see how that uh, this ends up coming out. But uh, I, I don't think there's any shock that he filed that lawsuit. Obviously, no. 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, a loss of life and tons of injuries. I, that was to be expected. Well, he looks great in the pictures. He really does. Everything he's been through. All right, can you really call Brody Jenner's attendance at Reggie Bush's wedding anything but a slap in the face? <laughs> well, this is kind of interesting because let's talk about what Brody Jenner and his girlfriend did over the weekend and then why Brody was not at the wedding in Paris of his stepsister Kim. Snubbed that wedding with Kim and uh, Kanye, but he did attend Reggie and his fiance's wedding, now wife's wedding, over the weekend in San Diego. Posted a ton of pictures, uh, Brody and his girlfriend, and then with the groom and the new bride as well on Instagram. And this obviously stirred some stuff up because Brody refused to go to Paris for Kim and Kanye's wedding. Now, here's why. Apparently, Brody did not receive a plus one to their wedding in Paris for his girlfriend, and he was outraged, so he took a DJ gig in Chicago and <laughs> snubbed their wedding, but had no problems attending Reggie's, which is kind of funny since Reggie is Kim's ex. Yeah, and, Kim, and Reggie's wife looks a lot like Kim. That dress she's wearing and the form fitting, yeah, there's a lot of Thanks. similarities between her and Kim for sure. That's that's interesting. All right. Well, uh, moving on, a Sony record deal for a group called Unlocking the Truth. How old are these guys? I absolutely love this story. This young heavy metal uh, band got together when they were 10 and 11 years old. They ended up with a gig on Amateur Night at the Apollo and just blew it up. Everybody fell in love with these guys. And then they get a call from Coachella. In the, uh, during that time, they had a 13-year-old bassist. And check this out. They are the youngest band ever to play the main stage at Coachella. And they just killed it. Well, some Sony reps and A&R uh, guys were on hand and said, you know what? We want these kids. So the now 12 and 13-year-olds wow. have signed a five record deal with Sony uh, breaks down like this 60 grand for the first record 325 grand for the second 400 for the third 450 for the fourth and then 550,000 for the fifth keep in mind these are only advances uh, and then you know on top of that they have uh, royalties that they will gain as well yeah you know you make your money touring at least at the beginning and then <laughs> merch and then again at the end yes right what's coming up after seven uh, this is great. Last Chance Lady Gaga tickets. We've got them every hour on KVIL from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So 7, 8, 9 with us, and then every hour continuing on throughout the day until 7 p.m. Make it worth us. Worth it to listen to you guys all day long. Thank you, Tony. You're Thanks, just guys. wonderful. Have a great day. You too.